I believe that the, the core of this is due to the reality that we live in an either-or world. We live in an either-or world. You either like Oregon or Oregon State. It's either Chevy or Ford, right? You see where I'm going here. It's either Apple or those other devices. You're either scared of where the world was heading four years ago or you're scared of where the world is heading now. You're either pro-life or pro-choice. You're either contemporary worship or traditional hymns. You're either past the plate or online giving. You're either church in person or church online. You're either Republican or Democrat. You're either focused on the centricity of the Bible or focused on the movement and the power of the Holy Spirit. We find ourselves in this either-or culture that tries to pit things against each other when it doesn't have to be. When it doesn't have to be. It's either-or this, either-or that. It's always either-or instead of where is the tension? How do we embrace all that Jesus cares about in the midst of these things instead of being forced or pressured to choose a side on everything? Have you all felt that? Or am I the only one? Yes, I'm the only one. The world tells us you need to pick sides. You need to choose a camp. You need to get off the fence and take a distinct stand for one of the sides, either this or that. But the problem with this is that the scripture is full of ands. The scripture is full of ands. God is three and one. God is loving and just. King David did some messed up stuff, and he was a man after God's own heart. Jesus was fully God and fully man. God knows all things, and mankind has free will. Still trying to wrap my mind around that. (laughs) Saul persecuted Christians, and God chose him to be an apostle of the early church and write a significant portion of the New Testament. Peter denied Christ three times, and he was the rock on which Christ would build his church. Jesus is our Lord and King, and he's our Savior. The Bible is full of ands, and we are called to be obedient to it in the midst of an either-or world. And so, so many of these distinctives that are a part of our DNA, the world wants to tell us, just choose one. What is it? Is it either this or that? But we will do everything in our power to be faithful to remaining in the tensions and embracing the ands. Amen? And that's what we are talking about here today. We believe that the local church is called to be Christ-centered, gospel-centered, have biblical integrity, and be spirit-empowered, fueled and led by the power and the person of the Holy Spirit. And too many traditions tell you to just choose one of those, but we sit here and we say, no, it's an and, not an either or. Do you see what I'm saying? That is why this distinctive, this part of our DNA as a part of this global family of churches called Every Nation is so darn important. And this is part of who we are. We are Christ-centered and spirit-empowered, and this is where our focus is will remain for the rest of today's message. So I'm going to pray for us, and we're going to dive in a little deeper. God, thank you for this time. Thank you for each person that is here to receive your word, to hear your heart. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would motivate my words, that you would speak through me here today, and that every word that is spoken would fall upon open hearts and open minds. God, give us ears to hear what you have for us in this. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for checking out our YouTube video today. We appreciate you taking the time to tune in with us. Before you take off, please hit the like button. And if you want more of this content and you want to be notified when we put out new videos, hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications right next to it. We look forward to seeing you next time.